Hi everyone, hope you're well. Today should be a quick little project. I got a couple of these motorcycle helmet communicator Bluetooth things and we just got a couple of the new ozone shields. Uh, they, the previous model didn't but this one does fit me quite well and has a little adjustable thing on the side. And it has these pads for the ears that to kind of like so you don't get so much wind noise in your uh, when you're flying. Um, so the Bluetooth module usually goes somewhere here on the side here and these might have enough space to put the little speakers on um, and then a little microphone and I think that's it so if these end up working out I'll put a link in the description for these things if you guys want to make your own. It's basically one of these little modules and with one of these four pin jacks it attaches, you can attach a couple of speakers for left and right and a little microphone and it should, that should be it. First thing to consider is how you attach this to the helmet. Uh, if you put this on, it will have like this big bulky thing sticking out of the side. So I think tangle hazards in paragliding and paramotoring are quite a big deal so I'm not going to use this like this. So let's look at a different option. So after freeing it for, from the case, it's actually a, an interlocking case with no tabs. It's just super glued on. So it's a bit hard to, to get on, but then it comes off. The, uh, the antenna is a lot harder, so you actually kind of have to destroy, destroy it a little bit. But it's quite a simple PCB. Um, has the buttons on one side, the dipole antenna. This is probably for 5.8. Uh, uh, a single cell LiPo, uh, 850 milliamp hours, and on this side there's actu the actual components and the little jack. The cable, uh, I can't really solder it directly to that because the charging is also through that 4 pin. So I kind of have to keep this like this, uh, but maybe put it on this area here, or maybe even on this back area here, maybe reusing these. Maybe, maybe something, maybe something similar to this position in some way. This is a dipole antenna and usually the propagation pattern of these is a donut. So we definitely, because our head is most of the time vertical, we definitely want to keep this vertical as well. It would be really useful to have a 3D model of the, of the helmet, so I'll have to do that next.
So, haha. -ha. We've tried them, we've just flown for about an hour with these guys for the first time. Worked Work, perfectly. Works so well. We got as far as like one of us over there and one of us here. And sometimes depending on the orientation, it does crackle a little bit, but for the most part, it's, it's awesome. Yeah, the only two crackles were, you said like when we we're face to face, because the antennas are pointing away from each other, they sometimes kind of did a bit of a but we could still hear each other. And it, com and, and it comes back. Yeah, and once when I was behind a rock when you were on, Take yeah, off and out. it doesn't yeah. work so, well but, with obstruct physical obstructions, but with line of sight, it works really well. Very clear. The volume we have it about in the middle, so there's options to go up and down. Andrew and, has really shot himself in the foot because now I can talk constantly to him while he's in the <laughs> air as well as on the ground. <laughs> but it's been really good because we've been doing exercises and everything, and the communication being two way and instant is so much better than and the radio. And there's no distraction. Like before, I really have to think about taking my hand, one hand off, and talking and put it back straight away and I think yeah yeah it's good it's really, it's really good. good really good really happy I'm very surprised that it worked this well I'm very proud of you because uh, uh. yeah it's really good and uh, I would never have thought of it and I I didn't want to damage our, our helmets either I was like but oh don't do anything have, but, but you've not damaged the helmet in any way it's no. like it's all add-ons that can be taken off and it can be yeah exactly there's a tiny before. bit of thread cutting to insert the speakers but that's minimal so that's it, we're really happy with them. And if you wanna build one yourself, I'll leave a link to where we got this in the description. Obviously this is the Ozone Helmet and... The plans, you're gonna share the plans. Oh yeah, you? the 3D CAD. I'll leave a package with all that and the STLs. It should be about one or two dollars worth of PLA to print this if you wanna give it a try. So if you wanna modify it, you should be able to make it fit your, your thing. And of course, as always, we'd like to thank all these lovely people who support us on Patreon and YouTube memberships. Thanks, everyone. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And we'll see you next time. See you next time. Bye. Ciao, ciao. Donk. <laughs> Keep donking. <laughs>